Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazhar, and today is 19th January 2022. Right now, I am with the 10 Cambridge class, and the subject we are studying is DMATS 4024. Today, uh, we have selected D3, and uh, from the, the name of the book is New Syllabus Mathematics 7th Edition. And we are going to attempt exercise 10A from this D3 book. The exercise is 10A. The name of the chapter is Arc Length, Area of Sector, and Radian Meyer. Today in this session, in this video, we will be solving from question number one to question number six. So uh, let's start today's paper. Hopefully you will understand it and you will enjoy doing this mathematics. So let's start and this is the name of the chapter. This is the soft copy of the, of the D3. And we are going to attempt this chapter. This chapter is basically chapter number then arc length, area of sector, and the radian measure. Okay, this is chapter number 10. So these are the outcomes of learning objectives of this chapter. So uh, we are going to learn how to find the area of a circle, area of a ring, and area of a quadrant and area of a sector arc length of a of a circle arc length of a quadrant arc length of a sector so um on your screen exercise 10a question number one is showing up he says find the diameter of the circles given uh, the following areas so these are the areas of the circle given, and you know the formula for the area of the circle is pi r square. So the area is given, so it's very simple. Pi r square will be equals to, for example, in the A part, area of the circle will be equals to 616 millimeter square. And from there, I will find the, the value of the radius. Once I know the value of the radius and you know the diameter is equals to two times the radius. So that's the strategy of doing this question number one. So let me show you the first question. And on your screen, the question number one is showing. He says, what's the diameter? Area of the circle is 616 millimeter square. Area is equals to pi r square. That's the formula for the area of a circle. Area is already given, 616 equals to pi r square. So r square will be equals to 616 divided pi equals to and the radius value will be r square value and then uh, square root answer equal and the r value will be 14 millimeter we know the diameter is equals to 2r so 2 multiply 14 and 28 millimeter so this is how you will do the question number one a part hopefully you understand question number two uh, one and b part the diameter is the question area of the circle is 779 5 by 8 meters square so we know that the area of the circle is pi r square area is 779 5 by 8 equals to pi r square so i will make the r, r square subject of the formula so you will have 6237 divided by 8 i have converted that uh, that mixed number into the improper fraction and this pi will go and be written downstairs. Here it is multiplying when it will go on the other side, it will divide there. So in your calculator, you will write 6237 divided eight divided pi equals two, and you will get 248.16. Square root answer equals two, and you will get the value of the radius and that will be 15.8. Once you know the radius value, you can find the diameter. The diameter is two times the radius. So two multiply 15.8 and that will be 31.5 meter. So this is how you do question number one B part. Question number one and it's C part. Diameter is question. The area of the circle is 3850 centimeters square. We know that the area of the circle is pi r square. 
Area is 3850 equals to pi r square. So make the r square alone. So 3850 divided by pi. So in your calculator, when you will enter this value, 3850 divided by pi equals to, you get 1225.5. Square root answer equals to, you get 35. So the radius is 35 centimeter. The diameter is two times r. So two multiply 35, and that will give you 70 centimeter. Okay, so we are done with the question number one. So let's, let's have a look at the book. Okay, so we are done with this question number one. I hope that uh, this question is clear to you. So on your screen, the question number two is showing up. He says, uh, find the area of the following rings whose external and internal diameters are. A part is 15 centimeter and 13 centimeter. Ring is, let me show you the ring. Okay, so this shape is called ring. This is the sh shape which is called the ring. So this is uh, the internal diameter is this, the internal diameter is 13 centimeter and the external diameter is this, from this point to this point. That's the external diameter. So you will have the internal radius and the external radius because the external diameter is 15. So the external radius, external radius means from this center to this external circle and internal radius means from this center to this internal radius, circle, sorry. And so the external radius will be 7.5 centimeter and the internal radius will be 6.5 centimeter. You know, if you find, want to find out the area of this ring, this is called the ring. This, the area of this ring is the formula is pi r square, this is capital R, the external radius minus pi r square, small r, and that small r means the internal radius. So you will have uh, pi 7.5 square minus pi 6.5 square equals to, and that will give you the value 44 centimeters square. So this is how you do question number two, A part. Question number two, B part, again, a ring is given and in the ring, the external diameter is 1.2 meter. And so we can find out the external radius. That will be 1.2 divided by two and that will be 0 0.6 meter. The internal uh, diameter is also given, that's 0 0.9 meter. The internal uh, radius will be 0 0.9 divided by two, and that will be 0 0.45 meter. If you want to find out the area of the ring, don't forget this formula. The formula for the area of the ring is pi capital R square minus pi small r square. So capital R is 0 0.6 meter and the small r is 0 0.45 meter. So it will be pi 0 0.6 square minus pi 0 0.45 square equals to, you will get the value 0 0.49 meter square. So this is how you will find the area of the ring. So this is how you do question number two. So I think uh, this question number two is easy. Hopefully you understand and hopefully you will never forget the formula for the area of the ring. We also call it a washer. The ring is also known as washer. So uh, question number three, find the area. There are two questions ask, he's asking you. Find the area, that's the first question, and the parameter of the shaded region in each of the following figures, give that all arcs are either quadrants or semicircle. So um, here, here you have this uh, a big semicircle whose radius is uh, 14. And here you have two small semicircles whose radii are seven centimeter. So if you want to find out, if you want to find out the area of the shaded figure, the strategy is very simple. Find the area of the big semicircle and let us call it A1 and then find the area of the small semicircle, let us call it A2, and from A1 minus two times A2, and that will give you the shaded area. 
In the same way, if you want to find out the perimeter of this shaded uh, fig figure, perimeter means this outer boundary. So you can see this here we have an arc and I will call it C1. And here you have an arc, I will call it C2. This one is also C2, I'm just naming it. It's C1 and C2, so, so that working is easy. The arc of a semicircle is uh, two pi r divided by two. For the big semicircles arc, I will use the radius as 14. And for the smaller arcs, I will use the radius. The radius value will be seven. So this is the strategy for the question number three A part. So let's go and solve this question. Okay, so on your screen, in on your screen, I think the question number, uh, yeah, now the question number three is showing up. So first of all, I will find the area one. That's the area of this big semicircle, and its radius is 14. So you will have pi r squared divided by two. So you will have pi 14 squared divided by two. So this will give you the area one. Area two is the area of this small semicircle, which is white which is not shaded. So its area will be also pi r squared divided by two and uh, its radius will be seven. So uh, the strategy is that from this big semicircles area, you will subtract the area of this semicircle and this semicircle. So basically a one minus two times a two. So pi r squared divided by two minus two into pi r squared divided by two. So pi 14 squared divided by two minus two into pi seven squared divided by two. So just enter these values in the calculator, pi 14 squared divided by two and minus two times pi seven squared. The answer will be 153.94 centimeter square. 153.94 centimeter square. And the important thing about this question is that our answer is not matching with the answer given in the book, but we doubt that the books answer is ambiguous so uh, because i have checked this question again and again that might we might be making some mistake but we are not um, as far as i know we are not making mistake there is a misprint in the answer okay so uh, our answer is this you can also you can check this question you can uh, do this calculation and check for yourself that we might have made some mistake but i have checked it three times I'm not able to find any mistake. So that was question number three, a part, hopefully you understand. And then the second second portion of this question was to find the, the perimeter of the shaded region. The perimeter of the shaded region means the boundary of the, the length of the boundary of the shaded region. So this is arc, the big arc, and this these are two small arcs. This big arc uh, is an arc of the semicircle. I can find out. So C1 plus two times C2. So two pi r divided by two plus two times two pi r divided by two. So it will be two pi and the r value, two and two are canceled. So the r, big R value is 14 and two and two cancel. So two pi seven, pi multiply 14 plus two, plus two multiply pi multiply seven equals two. So it will be 87.97, 87.97. Our answer will not match with the answer given in the book. And we doubt that the, there is some kind of misprint. Okay, so that was the question number uh, 3A. Okay, so let's have a look at the next question. Okay, so question number 3B part. This is that diagram. This is 14 and this is 14. And this side is also 14, this side is also 14. So these, these white things, they are quadrants. So what's a quadrant? Quadrant is basically when you divide a circle into four equal parts. So each part is a quadrant. For example, if you order, an, order a pizza, uh, somebody says pizza. So uh, what happens if you make it four pieces only? then each piece will be known as quadrant. If you divide a circle into four parts, uh, each part is known as quadrant. And uh, uh, here you can see there are four quadrants shown. First question is find the area of this shaded region. And the second question is find the perimeter of this shaded region. If you want to find the area of this shaded region, the strategy is very simple. 
you see what I will do. I will find the area of this whole square. That will be 14 into 14. And then I will find the area of this quadrant. Its radius, the radius of this quadrant will be half of 14. That will be 7. The full circle is pi r square and its quadrant will be pi r square. The whole thing divided by 4. So uh, from the area of the full figure, I will subtract the area of four quadrants. And that will give you the shared regions. So that's the strategy for area. Now, if you want to find the perimeter of this figure, you can see that here, these are the arcs. And each, there are four arcs around this, uh, uh, this shaded region. And each arc is the arc of the quadrant and whose radius is seven. So find the arc of a single quadrant. The formula for the area of, uh, sorry, the length of the arc of a quadrant is full circle is two pi r. The quadrant is two pi r divided by four. So you will find the arc of one quadrant and there are four arcs. So we will add and multiply that arc length with the four. You will get the perimeter of this shaded region. So let's see. Let's see how I have solved it. Let me show you. Okay, so here we go. So the shaded region will be A1 minus four times A2. A1 is the area of this square, that is length into length, 14 into 14. Area two is the area of the quadrant, that will be pi r squared divided by four, and the radius will be seven. So 14 into 14 minus four times pi seven squared divided four equals two, and that, that will give you 42.1 centimeter square, 42.1 centimeter square. Then if you want to find out the perimeter, so I will find the arc length of the one of these arcs, and that's the arc of a quadrant. And I will multiply it with the four, and then I, that, that will be the perimeter of this shaded figure. So four multiply C1, C1 means the arc, so four and the formula will be two pi r divided by four. And so enter the radius will be seven. So four multiply two multiply pi multiply seven divided by four equals two. And that will be 43.98 and that will be 44 uh, centimeter approximately. So this is how you will do question number three and it's B part, hopefully you understand. Let's move to the next part. The next part is uh, question number three and it's C part. You can see this figure here. So if you want to find out the shaded area of this figure, so try to understand this. Uh, I will This is this is a semicircle here. From the semicircle's area, I will find the area of this semicircle. Its radius will be 28 centimeter. From the area of this semicircle, I will subtract the area of this small semicircle. And then I will add the area of this small semicircle. The, the radius for this small semicircle will be 14. So that is the strategy for the area. If you want to find out the circumference of this figure, so you see this is the arc of the big semicircle whose radius is uh, 28. And this is the arc of the small semicircle whose radius is 14. And this is the arc of the small semicircle whose radius is 14. So C1 plus C2 plus C2, that's the strategy. Okay, so let's go. Let's see how I have solved it. Okay, now the area of the shaded region will be, um, uh, uh, let me call A1. A1 is the area of this uh, semicircle whose radius will be 28. And from that, I will subtract the area A2, this semicircle, which is smaller semicircle. And then I will add this A2. So here I've written that A1 minus A2 plus A2, A1, A2 and A2 will be canceled. I have put the values here. So the big radius is 28, the smaller radius is 14. This and this will be canceled. You are left with only this one. 
So pi 28 square divided by 2 equals 2, and that will be 1, 2, 3, 1.5 centimeter square. So this is how you will find the area of this shaded region. Then if you want to find out the parameter of this figure, so I have called it C1, the, area, the arc of the small semicircle, A, C1. So there are two C1 and there is one C2. The C2 is the big, big arc of the semicircle. So it will be 2 into 2 pi r divided by 2. The radius will be 14 and plus 2 pi r divided by 2. And the radius will be 28. So you will have 2 multiply pi multiply 14 plus uh, pi multiply 28 equals 2. And that will be 176 centimeter. Hopefully you understand this question. Now we have the question number three and it's D part. We have this figure and this portion is basically shaded. I don't know whether this is clear to you or not. Let me increase the size. So try to understand this is more technical. Uh, this is white, this portion is white, this portion is white, this portion is white. This appears to be not white here, but it is basically white. The shaded portion is this. This portion is shaded, this portion. Okay, so um, there are two questions on this part. and They want us to find out the area of this figure, the shaded figure, the shaded region. And for that, uh, it's a square of the length 10 centimeter. So I will find the area of this whole figure. That will be 10 multiplied 10. And then I will find the area of this quadrant. The area of this quadrant will be pi r squared divided by 4. And the radius of the quadrant will be 3.5 centimeter. So from the big area A1 minus 4 times the area 2. And you will get the area, shaded area. Now, um, if you want to find out the perimeter of this shaded area, this is the perimeter. You can see there are four arcs, this arc, this arc, this arc, and this arc. And then there are four straight lines also. They are also the part of that boundary of the shaded region. So how much is this one? If this is 3.5 and this is 3.5, so it will be totally seven. And this whole length is 10, so 10 minus seven, Three. So this straight line is three, this straight line is three, this straight line three, this straight line is three. So you will have four straight lines and each straight line is of three centimeter and you will have four arcs. So three, uh, four multiply L plus uh, uh, four into C and that will give you the parameter. Let me show you how we have solved it. Okay, so uh, shaded area will be, I will find the area of this whole figure that will be A1 and that is L square means length multiply length. That will be 10 multiplied 10. And I will find the area of this quadrant and this quadrant, which means the fourth portion of a circle. Uh, its radius is 3.5, it's given in the question. And you know, the quadrants area will be pi r squared divided by four and the radius is 3.5. And there are such four quadrants. And from the whole figure, I will cut, I will subtract the four uh, area of the four quadrants and that will give me the shaded area. So A1 minus four times A2 L square minus four into pi R squared divided by four and 10 into 10 minus four into pi into 3.5 squared divided by four equals two. And that will give you 61.5 centimeters square. So this is how you find the shaded area. Then the second part of the question is find the parameter of this uh, shaded region. So you can see here, you have this straight line, this straight line, this straight line, this straight line. Uh, the radius is 3.5, so if this is 3.5, this one is also 3.5, so that will be seven. And this whole thing is 10. So from 10 subtract seven, and you will have this length as three. The parameter is four arcs, C1, the four times C1, plus four L. This L is three, the arc C1 is the arc of the quadrant and that will be uh, two pi R divided by, uh, it is supposed to be two pi R divided by four. And I have, I think I made a mistake here. So let me, 
Let me, let me, let me. We have to stop for a second. I don't know, where is the... Okay, so uh, the formula is supposed to be 2 pi r divided by 4. So let me correct this. Okay, so um, here we have made a mistake. Here I should have written 4. So let me show you. Let me show you. I will correct it. So um, you can see that uh, here I have shown uh, that I have corrected that mistake. So here it should be four because it's a quadrant. The arc of a, a quadrant is two pi r divided by four because it's the fourth part, one fourth of a circle. So that's why the, the formula for the arc of a quadrant is two pi r, which is the circle divided by four, which means the fourth portion of that arc. So uh, this four and four will be canceled. So you are left with two pi r and four l. The r is 3.5 and uh, l is three. So you will have 22 plus 12 and that will be 36 centimeter. Hopefully you understand. Hopefully you understand what mistake I made and how I have corrected it. So this was the question number three and D part. Hopefully you understand this question. So uh, let's move to the next. Uh, question and the next part of the so let me show you question number next the next question is question number four he says find the area of the shared region in the following figures now in question number four you don't have to calculate the parameter so we only have to find out the shaded uh, the area of the shaded region so the first figure is showing up on your screen. It's a square and the length is 56 centimeter. The strategy is very simple. Find the area of the whole figure. And from that, subtract the area of these four circles. They are white. So um, and this whole thing is shaded. This thing is shaded. This is shaded. This is shaded. This portion, this portion, this portion. This portion is also shaded in this uh, scanned uh, this soft copy is not showing as shaded, but this is shaded, this is shaded. And uh, we want to find out the area of the shaded region. So area of the square minus four times the area of the circle. Now the question is, what is the radius of these circles? You can see here this dimension, this is 56. And here we have one radius, two radius, three radius, four radius. So this length is totally 56 and there are four radius in this length. So uh, four radius is equal to 56. So one radius will be 56 divided by four. So this is how you will find the radius of this circle. And uh, the, the area of this four figure, whole figure will be length into length. And the area of the circle is pi r square. So from A1, the area of the square minus four times the area two. So that's the strategy that how you will solve this. And let me show you, I have done this. And here we go. So, so shaded area is length into length. That will be 56 multiply 56 and minus the four times the a circle that will be pi r square and uh, the radius of that circle will be 56 divided by 4 and that will be 14 so the radius of that circle is 14 so uh, pi r square is the area of the circle and uh, we will have 56 uh, in your calculator you will enter 56 multiply 56 minus 4 multiply pi multiply 14 square equals to and that will be 672.99, which will be approximately 673 centimeter square. Hopefully you understand this question. Okay, so let's move to the next part. The next part is this question number four and it's B part. Here we have a big circle and in that big circle, we have four semicircles. The big circle, uh, some portion is shaded and those semicircles, they are white. So I want to find out the area of the shaded region. The strategy is very simple. Find the area of the big circle whose is, its radius will be 3.5 centimeter. Pi r square will be the formula for the area of the full circle. And from there, that area, you will subtract the area of these four small semicircles. 
the radius of these small semicircles will be 3.5 divided by 2. So um, then the area of the semicircle is pi r square divided by 2 and from a1 subtract 4 times the a2. So let me show you how this is done. Okay, so here we go. Shaded area will be A1 minus 4 times A2. Um, A1 will be pi R square, capital R represents that big circle whose radius is 3.5, so pi 3.5 square. Minus 4 times the area 2, area 2 will be that semicircles. The, the semicircle will be pi R square divided by 2. The radius of the one semicircle will be 3.5 divided by 2, and that will be 1.75. So uh, 2 and 4, they are cancelled. So you will have 2 here. So in your calculator, you will enter pi 3.5 square minus 2 times pi times 1.75 square equals to, and that will be 19.24 centimeters square. Hopefully, you understand. Okay, so let's move to the next question. The next question is on your screen, and this is that. So uh, I will find the area of this big semicircle. We want to find the area of this shaded region. The strategy is I will find the area of this big semicircle. From there, I will subtract the area of this small semicircle, and then I will double it because these two these two figures they are exactly the mirror image of each other. So I will find this, the shared region by this strategy. So the area of the big semicircle, pi r square by two, its radius will be 14 minus area of this small semicircle. Its radius will be seven. The formula will be pi r square by two. And the difference, and then I will double it. So uh, let's, let's have a look at how I have done this. And here we go. So uh, the strategy is two times uh, we will have okay the shaded area is equals to two times a one minus a two a one is that big semicircle whose formula will be pi r squared divided by two capital R I'm using so you can differentiate between them minus pi r squared divided by 2 here i'm using the small r to represent the small semicircle so uh, the radius of the big semicircle is uh, 14 and the radius of the small semicircle is uh, 7 so just enter these values in your calculator how you will write this you see you will write 2 bracket start pi multiply 14 square divided 2 minus pi multiply 7 square divided by 2 bracket close equals to, and that will give you 461.8, that is 462 centimeter square. So this is how you will solve the question number four and it's C part. I hope that you understand this question. So let's move to the next part. So the next part coming up on your screen is question number four and it's D part. Question number four, D part. You can see here, uh, we have a figure given here. So this is a semicircle whose diameter is 48. Its radius will be 24. This is a rectangle whose length is 48 and whose width will be 14. And this is a semicircle exactly like this one. Its diameter is 48, its radius will be, uh, you can say 24. So uh, find the area of this semicircle, find the area of this rectangle, find the area of this semicircle from their sum A1 plus A2 plus A1 minus A3. This is a semicircle and its radius will be seven. So there are such two circles. So subtract the, their area. So you will get, this is how you will get the shaded region. Let me show you how I have done this question. And here we go. So here we go. The shaded area will be 2A1. A1 is that big semicircle plus A2, that's a rectangle, minus 2 times A3. A3 is that small semicircle. The radius of the big semicircle is 24. The radius of the small semicircle, which is to be subtracted, is 7. So 2 into pi r squared divided by 2 plus length into width minus 2 times uh, pi r squared divided by 2. 
So in your calculator, two and two will be canceled, you know, and you will write pi multiply 24 square plus 48 multiply 14 minus two and two cancels. So pi multiply seven square equals two, and that will give you 2327.6. And so it's 2328 centimeters square. So this is how you do the question number uh, four and it's uh, D part. So uh, we are done with the question before and it's D parts. Let's move to the next part. The radius of a circular pond is 12 meter. So it's a circular pond and it's 12 meter uh, radius. Grass grows around the pond two meters away from its edge. Find in terms of pi, the circumference of the circle forming the outer edge of the grass. So we have to find out the the, the circumference of the outer circle and you know uh, because the radius of the inner circle is 12 meter and there is a two meter wide grass growing around it so the radius of the big circle uh, the outer circle the external circle will be 14 uh, meter okay so uh, the area of the land between the pond and the outer edge of the grass it's like a, it's like a ring you have to find out the area of the grass will be like in the shape of a, of a ring and you have to find the area of that area where the grass is growing so you will find the area of the ring okay so let's move let's let's let me show you how i have done this and here we go so the circumference uh or the outer circumference will be the inner radius is 12 meter. The outer radius will be 14 meter. Why 14 meter? Because the, the grass is growing, growing around that circular pond and the width of that grassland is two meters. So 12 plus two, that is 14 meter. So the outer circle, its circumference will be two pi R, capital R. So two pi 14 and it will be 28 pi. So this is the answer. I also solved it. I put the value of the pi, but actually you don't have to put the value of the pi. He asks you to write the answer in terms of pi. Okay, now this is how you will find the area, area and the formula because the grass will be growing in the, in the shape of a ring. So I want to find out the grass is growing here. This is the, where the grass is growing and we want to find out its area. It's the shape of a ring. So from the external circle, I will subtract the area of the internal circle and I will get the area of the grass that's in the shape of a ring. So pi r square minus pi r square. So you will have pi 14 square minus pi 12 square and that will be 52 pi, 52 pi. So that is the answer. I entered the value of the pi. You don't need to do that. I just entered. And the answer will be 163. He asks you to write the answer in terms of pi. So you don't have to enter the value of the pi. So the final answer will be 52 pi. So this is how you will do question number five B part. Hopefully you understand. Okay, so, uh, so that's question number five and it's B part. Now we are going to do question number six. So here we have. Question number six. He says, John decides to paint his figure, this figure on his driveway in yellow with the black lines. So this whole figure will be painted yellow and these lines will be painted black. So uh, the area of the shaded region that, will, uh, that he will paint, and that's the first question. And the second question is the total length that he will paint with the black paint. So, um, first of all, the area. So, find the area of this uh, rectangle and it will be the length is 4, the width is 5 meter. So, it will be length into width. And then find the area of this semicircle. Its diameter is 4 meters, so its radius will be 2 meter. So, A1 plus A2 and that will be the, A, the area which is painted yellow. Then in the second part, that's the strategy for the A part. We will, we will, I will show you how this is done. I have done this. And the B part, he wants you to find out the length of the lines because these lines which are showing up here, these lines, 
this circle, this line, this line, this line, and this line. We have to paint them black color with the black color. So we have to find out the length of these. So find the circumference of this circle, and then add this four, then add this five, then four, then add five. So that will give you the length of the lines, which will be colored black. So let me show you. Okay. So here we go. And the area. So there is a rectangle, which is five uh, by four meter. So its area will be five multiplied by four, length into width, plus the semicircle, pi r squared divided by two, divided by two, sorry. And its radius is two. The diameter is four. The radius will be two. So length into width plus pi r squared divided by two. Pi r squared is the full circle. By two means it's a semicircle. So five into four, that will be and plus in your calculator you will enter five multiply four plus pi multiply two squared divided by two and that will be 26.3 centimeter square so this is how you will find this is the area which will be uh, painted yellow with the yellow color okay now i want to find out uh, the length of those lines and it will be uh two pi r that circle whose radius is two and then we have a rectangle whose all four sides are to be painted black, uh, the lines, the boundary of that rectangle. All the four sides are there. So five plus five plus four plus four. So in your calculator, you will enter two pi r, two multiply pi, multiply two plus five plus five plus four plus four equals two. Uh, so it will be 30.6 meter. It will be 30.6 meter. So uh, we are done and that is the, we are done with this uh, portion. And uh, today uh, we have started a solving exercise. Um, today we have started solving this exercise and you know, uh, this is 10A exercise. And let me show you. Okay, so uh, today, my dear students, we have st started solving exercise 10A from the D3 book. The name of the book is New Syllabus and uh, Mathematics 7th Edition. In this session, we have solved from the question number one to question number six. The question number seven and so on, we will solve in another video, in another session. Hopefully you have understood that how this is done. If you have understood the concept of this exercise uh, from question one to question number six, and you think that this is helping you, please share the link of this video into your Facebook accounts, into your WhatsApp groups and into your Instagram and on your Twitter accounts because that will help me promote my channel. So um, once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. And thank you very much once again. It was a pleasure for me to teach you online and thank you very much. Have a good day and God bless you all.